Iran has launched an unprecedented missile and drone strike against Israel. It's unprecedented because Iran has never before struck Israel from its own soil. It fired about 100 drones and some missiles, most of which have been intercepted, it seems, by Israel's air defences, but also by the US and UK, which sent up fighter jets to help. Tehran said it was acting in retaliation for an attack on its own embassy compound in Syria on April the 1st. It blames Israel for that. It did telegraph this retaliation for some days. It seems like the strikes that it's made were not targeting civilian areas or highly densely populated areas. Uh, and in fact, uh, the, the Iranian mission in the UN has now come out and said that it considers this over. The mission is done. The matter is resolved. That suggests that we are one and done when it comes to the Iranian reprisal. The question, though, what will Israel now do? They'll be under immense pressure to do something further against Iran. Of course, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been facing that pressure from the hardliners on his right to do more. And it will be up to the US potentially and that relationship to see if they can stand Israel down from striking back directly against Iran. The concern here for everybody is that it sets off a broader regional conflict uh, that becomes very protracted and very dangerous.